Oh, well, hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys something that was suggested just a little while ago, and that was how to select the right class for you. So, how you select the right class for you specifically, and I'm showing you guys this in free-for-all, uh, because in a team objective or a dual server, it's, it's going to be roughly the same. Um, in the end, the most important factor in choosing a class is choosing what you personally are most comfortable with. Don't pick a knight because the knight is the meta or isn't the meta or whatever. Pick whatever you want to use above all else. If you like jumping in and out of the fray really quickly and stabity stabbing here and there and throwing around fire like it's your best friend, then Man at Arms is probably going to be your best bet. And this isn't going to be a terribly long video because there, there aren't really that many things you should be considering too much with the classes. I would recommend the very first step, if you are truly not sure which class is the best to use for you, is to try out all of them. Find out which ones you gel with the most. I like the man-at-arms the best because I find that I can easily jump in and out of, in and out of uh, really testy situations like that. Just, just based on the fact that my response time is really, really good. With something like a knight, that's not as feasible because you're not as fast. You don't have the ability to dodge whenever you want. So this is why the Man-at-Arms is the, my go-to class in Team Objective and a lot of the time also in duels. If I'm trying really hard, then it'll be in duels. Uh, that sounds kind of dumb. Ooh. However, this guy, he, he knows what he's doing, kind of. Uh, he, he knows what he's doing as a vanguard because he was engaging me at a long distance. He was using very big, heavy strikes at me. Um, and that is why the vanguard is best used for... Uh, if you want to be more of a team player, you probably want to go vanguard. Vanguards have the longest ranged weapons. They have the best ability to support fellow teammates as a result of that range. They also have a charge in vanilla, which is pretty darn useful to just get into the fray. Let's get this over with. That was easy. And they deal a ton of damage. They are a huge presence on the battlefield. Uh, now, the knight is obviously going to be your best bet for just pure damage. Ow. But with the vanguard, you can get out a lot of damage at once. Just period, end of story. The brandy stock, which I'm about to show you guys, is a massive damage, long-range weapon. It's not very fast. But if you're looking for a very versatile class, the vanguard is what you want. Uh, so, oh goodness, the Vanguard is what you want if you don't want your role to be determined by your class. As a man-at-arms, you're going to have to be a scout or a flanker or a whatever. Generally, you're not going to want to just rush into the fray. As a Vanguard, you can do all of the above and more. Oh, that kind of worked. Oh, hello. So, you see, my stab is still pretty darn fast with the Vanguard, and I can, I can kill people, bring them down pretty easily. But, ooh, good night. But, again, the range is just delicious, and the damage equally delicious. This is all to say, of course, that the Vanguard uh, has lots of power to, to throw around. Um, but you've got to be very wary of the big hitters. <laughs> like, I love ducking. Duck, duck, goose. Pardon me. It works, again, it works best when you're with teammates. Um, I could have done this in Team Objective, but... It works easier in free-for-all. So, the Vanguard overall, if you prefer to be a more versatile uh, type of player, if you think that you can work good at range, but good at short range too, uh, Vanguards have really good short range weapons too. Their pole hammer, the fork is really good short range, Claymore, fantastic short range. Vanguards are all over the place. They have high speed, low speed weapons. It's all over. Um, but if you want a good balance, you probably want Vanguard. Um, but also, if you want good range, you want Vanguard. Vanguard has the highest range weapons, period. End of story. Um, jeez. I mean, you can see that right now. Ha, <laughs> nice. Shit balls. Hello. What is this, the Zwei squad? Oh, that was retarded of me. I don't know why I did that. Alright, so Claymore coming out. I'm going to show you guys. Vanguards can be very, very quick, too. I will hopefully show you guys Archers as well. Before the end of this game. Again, this is this doesn't need to be a very long video. Uh, for the sole purpose that picking a class is a very, very personal thing. As I said in the beginning. Uh, take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. And swing. 
Like, I can multi-engage targets on a whim. Uh, not very well, though, because, again, I'm not particularly comfortable with a Vanguard, because it's kind of awkward for me. Oh, God! That was close. Get fucking wrecked. Okay, I'm getting into it. I do, I very much like the Vanguard. Good timing. So as you can see, they can be really, really fast. Now we're going to go to the Knight, who has tons of damage to throw around. They can be fast if they're using a Sword of War or a Bearded Axe. Um, but speed nor range are their strong suits. Their strong suits are staying alive. If you want to be the tank on the arena, you want to be the Knight. But your health doesn't mean much if you play stupidly. What the fuck? What is this? Like a Zwy team going on here. Yeah, so... Again, I did something really dumb. I ran into a group of three enemies. Uh, which in a team objective would not be a good idea ever, but in free-for-all, I mean, you know. You assume they're all not on your side. Oh. Pardon me. Also, they can blow... They can blow everything up. Oh. Okay, hello. Let's try that one more time. Thank you. Yeah, like you can see there, knights are the best to take on other knights. And they just deal so much damage. It's so epic. I love playing a knight if I want to be the big heavy hitter. Uh, if you feel like you want to be that guy to take all the punishment as well as deal a lot, this is probably a, a good bet for you. And... And now Archer. I'm just gonna go my favorite Archer setup. Archer like Ar Archer Heavy Crossbow is actually my favorite setup, but in free for all I'd have to go light crossbow. I never play Archer because I'm not the kind of person who would want to use it. So the people who play Archer, uh oh nice. Are people who wanna engage from a distance. It's pretty simple at that, really. If you if you are a sniper in most um like in battlefield games or COD games, um usually that'll do the trick for you. Uh, however, at the same time, you've got an you've got an assortment of melee weapons to choose from for secondaries, so that's quite nice. Also, you've got spears and shit. Ba bam. So, uh, not gonna talk horribly a lot about the archer. I, I not not my class really to speak on. Um, but hopefully, this video was helpful to you guys. I'm sure it was much too short for anyone's liking. But as I said, I can't really make a video about how to choose a class. Uh, except to give you guys the basics, which is what I gave you, of what all the classes do and what their roles are. Um, but in the end, it's what you're most comfortable with. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you did learn something, and as always, have a grand day. I hit the wrong button.